My name is Irma Glazer. Well, I'm a native Detroiter. I grew up on Hancock between 2nd and 3rd, which is across from the old Wayne building. Both of my parents were American-born. Growing up, I never really had to be a speaker, so I really didn't have a voice until I went away to school. And when I went away to school, I lived at Jordan Hall. They had terrible food there. They had uh, omelets, that omelets that you could stand up on. They were awful. And I got really furious. I took the omelet that I had. I went out to where they had this menu board. I slapped that omelet on the, on the board and said, I'm not eating this stuff anymore. I'm paying the same as everybody else. And I look behind me and there's a whole group of students that are holding up their omelets. So I had a food riot <laughs> that I started. That's when I found my voice. I also got called into the Dean of Women's office the next week about why I wasn't happy at Ann Arbor and had to tell her that I was very happy there. I just didn't like the food. They offered me all these different residence choices that I could move to and then I became president of my dormitory. I'm a past president of Eleanor Roosevelt Hadassah and I loved the organization. There was a big campaign that Hadassah put on about the Russian refuseniks and we wrote letters. And I sent him a letter telling him at the time I was the president of Eleanor Roosevelt and how we were very concerned about how Jewish people were being treated in Russia and eventually they did get free. I got into National Council of Jewish Women uh, through a friend, Arlene Gould, who said she was going to go for training to be a children's advocate. We'd go to these homes, we'd go in teams of two, we would check the homes to see if it was a loving, good environment for a child. And I really thought this was terrific. I was not a member of NCJW at the time. But I thought, what an organization, this is so wonderful. And I thought, well, I ought to join this organization. And it gave me a better voice because they do a lot of lobbying. And I found that I am a very good lobbyer. Anybody can get a job. <laughs> Not everybody could convince people to do something. And the gerrymandering was absolutely outstanding. Went to Lansing mostly for equal pay. And we did it with volunteers only, except for the lawyer that we had to get. That, obviously, we couldn't do the writing up of it. But to have volunteers come out and do this job and get it done and fight the court battles and all the different things, it's a roadmap for the entire country, and I'm so very proud to have been part of that. We have to use our voices. We have to get changes, and I'm an advocate. It's nice to do great things and help people with a hand, but if you don't move them forward, you're always just helping, and you're never making a difference. We should be making a difference.